I was asked to make a video on lubricating General Electric motors, fan motors, and um, here's a particular fan which has already been modified uh, to be lubricated. These fans, generally speaking, were never designed to be oiled. The way it works is they're, they're kind of strange motors. They use kind of like a single bearing and the single bearing sits inside the, the rotor and it's kind of hard to explain without actually looking at it but what happens is at the back of the motor behind this plate the, the shaft comes out of the, the, uh, the, the single bearing and there's a C-clip that holds it on. There's also a large well which is filled with foam and that's what would have been filled with oil when the fan was produced and that was kind of like General Electric's take on today's permanently lubricated fans. Uh, the only difference is that their method actually worked for quite some time. So what happens is they close up the motor and that well of oil is kind of locked in there and you can't really add to it. It's possible to put a couple drops of oil in the front of the bearing, but there's no guarantee it'll actually make it all the way to the back and it leaks out and everything. So the only way to really oil these fans is to drill a hole in this portion of the cap and that allows you to get access to that well and now you can put oil in there again. It, it's the same thing with the box fan motors. Uh, the little cap on the back of the motor, you got to drill a hole in it and pull it off. The only way to really get it off um, is to drill the hole, which is a shame because that does kind of ruin the piece, but unfortunately that's, that's just how you have to oil these. So hopefully that answered some of your questions. I do have a, a box fan which has a similar style motor to it on a little bit of a larger scale and that motor is locked up so in the near future I will be attempting this process on a box fan um, actually I can show it to you, it's right over here now this particular box fan right here so I'll make a video uh, when I get around to doing that but hopefully for now that cleared up some of your questions. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.